By using CAAPM, you are able to troubleshoot faster, boost IT productivity, and control the overall end user experience. One of the ways this is achieved is by using the CAAPM Team Center. Team Center provides an overview of an application environment. Administrators use Team Center to see the health state of the environment. Level 1 analysts monitor problems and warning signs in the environment with Experience View. Experience cards can be configured so that the analysts have their universe divided into meaningful groups and the most business critical components are visible. Experience cards also contain an alert status of normal, caution, or danger. Team Center administrators, like Sam, perform the following tasks. Before configuring the experience view for a user, assign at least one universe to that user. Configure the universe, add a new experience card, and then edit the experience card. In the following demonstration, you will see how an experience card is built and edited. Sam was asked to create an experience card for the Nowhere Bank application and based on the APMR10 components universe. He also wants the average response time to be the default chart type. Sam logs into the APM Team Center as admin. Sam adds a new Enterprise View card by clicking the plus button. Sam chooses the APMR10 Components Universe since there is no specific universe or user at this time. He now selects a filter to show only the Nowhere Bank application. Sam then chooses the Follow Transaction Path and to filter by agent. and deselects all agents and then selects the three Nowhere Bank agents. He configures the experience attributes to group by name first and then transaction name. This will allow the user to see the experience card for each transaction and then the details for that transaction in the experience view. He now changes the default chart type to average response time. Next, Sam enters the name for the card and saves the new card as a public experience card. You can now see the new Nowhere Bank Experience View card. You can open the card by clicking on the name. The contents of the Nowhere Bank card are displayed. Notice the default chart for each transaction is the average response time as Sam defined earlier. Sam is finished with the new card and logs out. Pete, a new hire, wants to preview the APM experience view. He logs into APM Team Center to review the new card. Pete discovers there are no experience view cards in the Team Center. He notifies Sam and then logs out. Since Pete only has access to the Nowhere Bank universe, Sam will edit the Nowhere Bank card to be based on the Nowhere Bank universe. Sam logs into APM Team Center to modify the Nowhere Bank experience view card to base it on the Nowhere Bank universe. CA recommends configuring cards so that analysts have their universe divided into meaningful groups and the most business critical components are most visible. Sam moves the Nowhere Bank card on the view for easier access to the card 
by clicking on the gear button in the lower right hand corner of the card and then dragging the card to where he wants it. Sam then edits the card by first clicking on the gear button in the lower right hand corner of the card and choosing edit. He changes the universe to the nowhere bank leaving the experience attribute grouping and default chart type as is. Sam saves the modified card. He now reviews the modified card. We can see the card is using the Nowhere Bank universe. He scrolls through the different charts. Sam logs out and notifies Pete the changes have been made. Pete logs into APM Team Center to view the experience card. By clicking on the Nowhere Bank card name, Pete expands the card. By clicking on the expansion button on the right hand side of the screen, Pete takes a quick look at the problems and anomalies. Once he has reviewed them, he logs out. You should now have an understanding on how to build and edit experience cards in the CA APM Experience View. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, visit our website, ca.com slash education. And for more videos, please subscribe to the CA Educate channel on YouTube.